Did you know that constantly being available, always initiating conversations, and putting others first can actually damage your relationships? It may sound counterintuitive, but the truth is, these actions often lead to imbalance, burnout, and even resentment. If you want to transform your relationships and make them truly meaningful, you need to do this one thing, create space for others to invest in you. The best way to build stronger, more fulfilling connections is by allowing others to step up, take the lead, and prioritize their own needs too. It's not about being selfish, it's about creating balance and mutual respect in your relationships. Avoid this mistake. Don't make others the center of your life. When you focus too much on someone else, you lose yourself in the process. Instead, learn to keep your own identity intact while connecting with others. In this video, we're diving into how you can shift your approach and start building healthier, more rewarding connections. You'll discover how creating a sense of rarity in your presence, not always being available, and allowing others to invest in you can transform your relationships and make you feel more fulfilled. Stay tuned, because these shifts will change how you interact with everyone around you, from friends and family to colleagues and even romantic partners. Number 1. Create a sense of rarity in your presence. Imagine for a moment the thrill of finding something rare. Whether it's a limited edition collectible, a vintage car, or even that perfect pair of shoes that seems impossible to find, there's a natural allure to scarcity. It creates value, anticipation, and an undeniable desire. The same concept applies to people. When your presence feels like a rare and cherished event, it captivates others and leaves them wanting more. Now think about the people in your life whom you deeply admire. Chances are they aren't constantly accessible. Their time feels valuable, and when you do get to share it, the experience stands out. This sense of rarity doesn't mean distancing yourself from everyone or playing hard to get. It's about recognizing your value and curating where, when, and how you show up. There's a deep nostalgia in thinking back to simpler times, isn't there? Like those childhood moments when getting to spend time with a favorite relative or friend felt like winning the lottery. Their presence was so impactful because it wasn't constant. You cherished those moments because they were unique and meaningful. Now, apply that same principle to your own life. Curiosity arises when you consider how to strike this balance in your modern world. How can you ensure that your presence remains a treasure, not a given? It starts with boundaries, learning to say no when your instinct is to say yes, and choosing quality over quantity in your interactions. Number 2. Avoid always being available. Let's imagine you have a go-to restaurant where the food is incredible, but there's always a catch. You can never just walk in. You need to book a table days in advance. That wait somehow makes the experience more rewarding when you finally sit down for that meal. Now, compare this to a 24-hour diner where you can show up anytime. While convenient, it doesn't carry the same level of excitement or prestige. Being too available can have the same effect on how people perceive you. At first, being constantly available might feel like a sign of dedication and care. You might think, if I'm there for everyone, they'll value me more. But over time, it creates the opposite effect. People start to take you for granted, and your time feels less valuable. Not because it actually is, but because it seems so easy to access. Do you remember a time when you missed someone deeply? Maybe a friend who moved away, or a loved one you didn't get to see as often. Those moments of distance made every encounter more precious. The anticipation heightened your appreciation for the time you had together. In contrast, being around someone constantly, even someone you love, can sometimes lead to taking them for granted. Curiosity naturally bubbles up here. How can you tactfully manage your availability without feeling like you're pushing people away? 
Start by recognizing that saying no isn't selfish, it's strategic. Invest your time wisely in people and situations that truly matter and let others learn the value of your time by not giving it away too freely. Number three, maintain a sense of mystery. Think back to the last time a great movie or book held your attention. What made it so captivating? More often than not, it was the element of surprise, the twists and turns that kept you guessing until the very end. Now, consider how this same principle applies to personal interactions. When everything about you is laid bare, there's little left for others to discover. A sense of mystery can be one of the most magnetic qualities you possess. It's tempting to overshare, especially in today's hyper-connected world. Social media often encourages us to document every moment, thought and feeling. But when you give everything away up front, you leave little room for curiosity. A touch of mystery doesn't mean being secretive or aloof. It's about leaving room for people to want to know more. Do you remember meeting someone who intrigued you from the start? Maybe it was the way they spoke with quiet confidence or how they shared stories without revealing every detail. You probably found yourself wanting to peel back the layers to learn more about what made them tick. That feeling is powerful and it's rooted in the human desire for discovery. Curiosity kicks in when you think about how to cultivate this quality in your own life. Start by being intentional with what you share and how you present yourself. Focus on showing rather than telling. Let your actions speak louder than your words. When people are left wondering, they're more likely to invest time and energy into truly understanding you. Number four, let others invest in you. Have you ever been in a situation where you were doing all the work in a relationship, whether it's personal or professional, always reaching out, always initiating, always giving? While this can feel fulfilling in the short term, over time it can lead to burnout and even resentment. One of the most powerful shifts you can make in your relationships is to stop being the only one who invests. Allow others to invest in you and watch how it transforms your connections. The idea of letting others invest in you might feel strange at first. It's easy to think that showing vulnerability and letting others take the lead means you're somehow weaker or less in control, but in truth, Allowing others to contribute to your life makes them feel valued and invested in you. Just think about the last time someone went out of their way to do something for you. It might have been a small gesture, a thoughtful text or a kind word, but it likely made you feel deeply connected to them. That sense of emotional reciprocity is what sustains long-lasting bonds. At first glance, this might seem simple, but consider how often you might be overextending yourself. The truth is, we live in a world where we're often taught that giving endlessly is a virtue. But in doing so, we neglect the fact that true relationships are built on mutual effort. Imagine a seesaw. If one side is constantly down, constantly giving, it's only a matter of time before things break. But when both sides are balanced, the ride is smooth and the experience is enjoyable for everyone involved. Now think back to a time when someone truly gave something valuable to you. Maybe it was a friend who took the time to listen to your problems without offering unsolicited advice. Maybe it was someone who showed up for you when you least expected it. Their act of investment in you likely created a deeper sense of connection. The moment they stepped in and contributed to your life in a meaningful way, the dynamic changed. Curiosity emerges when you consider how can you stop being the one always giving and instead create space for others to contribute. It's a delicate balance, but it starts with allowing others to step in when they can. Sometimes this means taking a step back, recognizing when you're overcommitted and giving someone else the chance to contribute to your life. You might find that it builds trust and creates deeper connections than ever before. When people feel like they're investing in you, 
they begin to value the relationship even more. Number 5. Prioritize your own needs. First, there's a pervasive cultural idea that putting others first is the hallmark of a noble person. In many ways this is true, however, there's a subtle danger in constantly placing others above yourself. It's easy to get caught up in the demands of life, whether from your job, relationships or responsibilities. And while showing care and compassion toward others is admirable, neglecting your own needs in the process can have serious consequences on your well-being and sense of self. Picture yourself as a cup of water. If you're constantly pouring your energy and time into others, you're eventually going to run dry. It's important to recognize that in order to give, you must first ensure that you are filled. When you put your own needs first, you're not being selfish, you're taking the necessary steps to ensure you're strong and grounded enough to support others. Consider a time when you felt emotionally or physically drained, perhaps after a particularly intense period of helping others or managing multiple responsibilities. During this time, your own needs were likely ignored, and as a result, your ability to give effectively was diminished. It's only when you take the time to focus on yourself, whether it's through self-care, rest, or simply taking a mental health break, that you can truly show up for the people around you in a meaningful way. Number six, don't make others the center of your life. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of a new relationship, whether romantic, familial, or even a close friendship, and begin to shift your entire focus toward that person. When you invest all your energy into someone else, you lose a sense of your own identity and priorities. While meaningful relationships are crucial to our happiness, it's essential to remember that no one person should become the center of your life. Instead, you should remain the protagonist in your own story. Think about it when someone becomes the sole focus of your attention, you risk neglecting your own goals, ambitions and passions. While it's natural to want to share your life with others, you must also maintain a sense of individuality. When your world revolves entirely around someone else, it can lead to feelings of dependence and in some cases, resentment. You may begin to feel like you've sacrificed too much of yourself and when that happens, the relationship can lose its balance. Take a step back for a moment and think about your past relationships whether they were friendships, family dynamics, or romantic partnerships. Were there times when you felt like you lost yourself in the process? Perhaps you neglected your own dreams to support someone else's, or you stopped doing the things you loved because the relationship took precedence. The danger lies in losing yourself in someone else's life instead of nurturing your own growth and goals. Curiosity stirs when you think about the balance between connecting with others and maintaining your own individuality. How can you invest in relationships while staying true to yourself? The key is setting boundaries and keeping a sense of independence. While it's wonderful to share experiences, remember to invest in your passions and interests outside of the relationship. By doing so, you create a healthy dynamic where both parties can grow, evolve, and thrive. Number seven, stop initiating. Every conversation. We all know that person who always seems to be the first to initiate a conversation, whether it's a quick hello or a deep discussion. While being the one to start the dialogue may feel empowering, constantly being the initiator can lead to one-sided interactions. Relationships, whether romantic, social or professional, thrive when both parties engage equally. But when you're the one who always starts the conversation, it can create an unbalanced dynamic. Consider the dynamics of a tennis match. If one person is always hitting the ball, it's not really a match. It's a one-sided exercise. In relationships, it's the same idea if you're always the one making the effort to reach out, ask questions, or maintain communication, you're putting all the energy into keeping the connection alive. 
While this may seem like a sign of your dedication, it can also lead to a sense of emotional exhaustion. Think back to a time when someone else reached out to you first. Perhaps it was a friend checking in, a colleague sparking a conversation, or even a romantic partner initiating a plan. There was likely a sense of excitement and appreciation that they took the lead. This mutual effort is what makes relationships feel balanced and equal. It's important to recognize that by stopping the habit of initiating every conversation, you allow others the opportunity to engage with you. Curiosity arises when you consider how you can start letting others take the lead in your conversations. It's not about withdrawing or becoming passive, rather. It's about striking a balance. When you stop initiating every conversation, you give others the chance to show their interest and commitment. This shift in dynamics can lead to more authentic, mutual exchanges where both parties feel equally invested. To wrap things up, if you've made it this far, you're clearly someone who's ready to make real changes in their life. Drop a hundred if you've watched this far. This shows you're part of the 0.01% who actually finishes what they start. The journey to building stronger, more meaningful relationships starts with you, and the steps we covered today are the key to unlocking a life of balance, respect, and personal fulfillment. If you're truly serious about transforming your life and relationships, don't wait any longer. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the powerful insights that can help you take charge of your destiny. You've got this. Now let's keep moving forward together.